Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new Viking Orations. Got another review for you today, one of several that uh, I was able to get uh, taken care of while I was on my uh, vacation here recently. I uh, figured I would knock several of these out today so I can enjoy the rest of my birthday. And the first one up on the block is Ashes of Moments Perished with their debut EP, Womb in Black Flame. Out now through the band themselves, or himself i guess you could say because this is a one-man project uh, if you're not familiar with it it is a technical death metal band i'm going to say band because it's so hard to remember to say project throughout the whole thing uh yeah not exactly sure when uh it was formed but it is based out of milwaukee wisconsin and is the brainchild of isaac rice who handles everything here from vocals guitars bass drums everything he's also in the band vile ambassador uh, it is three tracks, a little over eight minutes in length, and up until I actually received this promo, I was very unfamiliar with this band, uh, though I definitely enjoy one-man bands like, you know, Putrid Pile, uh, Viral Load, Blood Upon Thorns, who actually recently just changed their name to Averis, and it's become a full-time band, but yeah, bands like that I've always enjoyed, so I couldn't wait to check out this EP, and I honestly really dug what I heard when I listened to this, and I've listened to it multiple times while I was on vacation. Uh, the bass has a nice twangy tone to it, has a lot of that techy feel to it and it's right up in the mix very easily heard yet it doesn't overpower any of the other instruments which is really awesome i love how uh bands mix it like that when they got a good bass tone and everything but they don't want to overpower the rest um when you get into the last track which is the title track womb in black flame i love that brief kind of noodly bass solo that it gets at uh, 101 into the song. I always love it when bass gets a nice little moment to shine by itself. Um, I really love the drum production on here. Not sure if it's a drum machine. Uh, it didn't say in any of the promo material anything that I could find. Uh, but if it is a drum machine, he done a hell of a job with it because to me it actually sounds like a real drummer. Uh, very powerful and thick sounding kicks. Great snap to the snare. I really dig the patterns, rolls, and fills that he does. And it has lots of fast double bass and blast beats. Just really awesome drum uh the guitar work on here oh this this ep is just full of great guitar work in my opinion it's technical yet it doesn't lose any of the heaviness and has a great tone to it as well you get mid to fast paced riffs with some slower heavy chugs and a few of what i like to call noodly noodly uh bits as well um as long with some great guitar solos over all three of these tracks. Um, the lead-off track, Delusions of Wilting Mind. I just love the titles of these songs. At about 34 seconds in, and then again at about 2 minutes and 38 seconds into the song, you get a nice little black metal style tremolo riff, which is like a nice little break from all the tech death that you're getting up until those points. Uh, then you get into the follow-up track, Dichotomy of Being. There's a nice solo at the 221 mark that has this um, sort of classical Flesh God Apocalypse feel to it, in my opinion, which is uh, definitely not a bad thing because I do enjoy some Flesh God Apocalypse. Uh, vocally, Isaac utilizes a nice, powerful mid-range growl mixed with some just sick-sounding screams. Uh, overall, he turns in a really solid performance on vocals as well. And um, yeah, overall, I think this is just a solid debut offering from this you know, Wisconsin-based one-man tech death project. Uh, as I said earlier, it's technical, yet it also brings the heavy with it and doesn't try to do too much at one time and make things boring, which you know a lot of technical death metal bands kind of fall into that trope of they try to be so fast and technical oh look what i'm doing and then it just becomes boring and it's just like but on this uh ep you don't get that here it's just heavy technical and in your face death metal definitely one to be keeping your eyes on i would give this an eight and a half out of ten for sure go check out ashes of moments perish uh, i will leave a link down below so you can check it out for yourself and uh, buy a digital copy so i'm um, i'm really hoping at some point this might get a physical release even even if it's on tape, I would accept that. But, of course, I really want a CD. But, yeah. Go check out Ashes of Moments Perished. That is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.